Hello and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick, and today we're going to be looking at Prey Potch, I think that's how you say it, uh, which is another LD24 game. This one is by Connor Ullman. You may remember we did a little bit of coverage of his game Seedling uh, about, what was it, a month and a half or something ago. It was a really excellent Zelda-like adventure action type of hack-and-slash game. And I'm not sure exactly what this this is, but I have a feeling it's going to be at least a little bit similar. So let's give it a try. Oh, everything's kind of trippy and moving around. Alright, so we've got what looks like a little goblin here we play as. Uh, these little bunnies look like they want to kill me, so let's try and... Can we go in our... Oh, that was violent. Let's not go in the house, apparently. The bunnies have taken over. We're not getting in there. Interesting music. Reminds me a little bit of an Atari game. Uh, in a good way. So we're doing pretty typical controls here. You know, standard fare. Um, arrow keys and... Oh, we've got X now to attack, so that's good. I've heard in the comments that this one was a little bit difficult with the combat element, but we're going to give it a shot. Um, I don't entirely get why everything seems to be breathing, but it's kind of interesting at the same time. I um, can't say I've seen a lot of games that do that to that extent. I'm usually just a little bit of a movement here or there. I really can't go in there, can I? Uh, but yeah, this is taking it to the next level. So it's maybe a little tricky to hit these guys, but it's not too bad. I think I can handle it. Just kind of spam. It's actually mapped to spacebar as well, so... Just sort of spam the spacebar whenever you get near them, and you should be okay. So I don't know what my goal is here, but now that I've got my axe, I'm gonna head over here. I'm already feeling like the same sort of... Uh, curiosity that I was feeling when I was playing uh, Seedling. I just know that the adventure is going to be of a somewhat smaller scope. I mean, just by virtue of having 48 hours to develop a game that makes it a little bit on the tough side uh, to make a fully fleshed out and long-term enjoyment experience. This is actually not bad, though, so far. The art's pretty simple, but it's not bad at all. Uh, so you actually seem to regenerate at the last screen you zoned into. So a lot of these little guys everywhere, they, they actually look just like the main character of Seedling, just uh, purple. They're uh, pretty angry, too. So there doesn't seem to be any kind of like a UI as far as like your, how many hits you can take, which is not a big deal. I mean, we can kind of get the idea. Seems like about three, three shots and you're done. Can't use... Oh, I actually can use the axe to cut down a tree. I was going to expect not for that to happen. Okay, um, can I use for anything else, though? What is that thing? Okay, well, I'm glad at least you can cut down the tree. Whether or not that results in... Oh, that thing is scary! I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to kill that. I'm trying to turn around. Wow, that thing just wants to punch me to death. Ooh, that's kind of violent. Alright, so we'll cut lots of trees in half. Did this crack just happen, or was that... I don't know. Ooh, a cactus. Can I cut down the cactus? Oh, there's a sword. I gotta get the sword first. Double damage! Alright. Sort of feels like Castle Crashers, actually. <laughs> the way the, the combat is, it's not super deep, but, you know, it gets the job done. I can't imagine trying to fight those things with the axe for very long. Oh. So I should keep my sword, yes. Okay, so we've got lots of these crazy gorilla go uh, dudes now. Wasn't sure if I was going to say guys or dudes, but I went with both. Ooh, double kill! What's up here? Can I go up? No, I can go over, though. Another cactus. Oh, okay, boat time. Two more gorillas, and what's down here? I don't want to miss if there's like an item or something cool. Can go back over. I wonder, do these guys regenerate each screen? They probably do. I would be pretty surprised if they didn't. That was dangerous. Alright, let's check out this boat. See what we can do. I'm on a boat! Haha. -ha. Oh, I can steer it, actually. I didn't expect that. Oh, I thought that was the first couple notes of the Tetris theme song. Okay, this is kind of epic, actually. We've got, like, a serious journey going on. We've got some wind. 
<laughs> the sound effects are really funny, actually. Oh, did we go to the frozen wasteland? Just like in Seedling, actually. This is really cool, actually. This is like pretty serious as far as the uh, LD games generally tend to go. Oh, and like these little guys have like some fuzz on them to make them able to withstand the freezing temperatures, apparently. I do not have such fuzz. I wonder why I'm like an orc guy, or whatever I happen to be. Alright, you guys... Oh man, they're a little faster than me. I'm going in the cave. Oh, that's pretty! Oh, that's super, super pretty, I love it. You gotta, like, you gotta lead with this kind of stuff. When you're, when you have a nice graphical element like these glowing crystals, totally gotta put these in a place where we can see them. Like, right from the beginning, because this will draw people right in. At least I think so. Drew, drew me right in. <laughs> I don't even care that it's super dark in here. I can hardly see where I'm going, but there's these lights, so it makes it nice. Like, oh man, it's Dear Esther all over again. What in the hell is that? Okay, those things actually scare the crap out of me. I'm sorry. Um, I was not expecting something that large or that dangerous to show up. Is there another weapon maybe I can use on them? How about a gun? Ooh, double double damage. I got the sweet sword now. Let's go back and take one out. Oh yeah, I can totally fight him now. Holy crap, that thing just kicked me out of the screen. I don't even think there's a reason to really fight them. May as well just keep going. Got my sweet diamond sword. Life's good. Go up here. I think I'm fairly safe. Oh, jeez. Can't really see these guys coming at me like that. I have to note the very minimalistic and nice music as well. Like, I, I know I said it's sort of like an Atari game, but I think in that particular situation that actually worked quite well. Um, oh, what is that guy doing? We've got like a lava cave here. This is reminding me a lot of Earthbound, actually, which is uh, probably not a reference I was expecting to make at the start of this. And the music is giving me Norfair quite a bit, actually. Alright, I want these guys to be peaceful. Can we be friends, please? I don't want to slash your bubble because you're probably going to get angry at me. Alright, fine. Um, no? You're not going to do that? Alright, what's your deal? Guys, really cool effect on the lava, too, how everything sort of wiggling outside of the lines implies heat. Nice attention to detail there. I do like the diversity of the art, too. Uh, it looks like it's probably hand-drawn, but it's uh, well done, and there's the little bits of animation which provide just enough to make it seem like there's stuff uh, like seriously going on. What is this dude doing? He's not in a bubble. Oh, cutscene, kind of. You ask why you were attacked near your home by those small creatures? First, you must know some history, as those creatures are my ancestors. You see, our colony formed in a forest where we were safe. Then a lava flow destroyed our home. Some fled the fire, while others embraced it to live in this new, harsh environment. As time grew on, those of us who stayed grew arms and legs to survive here. Wow. Hence the evolution, I suppose. Well, those who fled merely followed the receding tree line. Those who followed the forest could not grow, as there was nothing to shape them. The forest kept them comfortable and safe, but stunted their potential. As they moved, some formed groups and settled down. These groups battled their environments as well, turning into new species. And so, our ancestors have trudged on, remaining much the same as they were when they left. While we, here and everywhere, grew to be more powerful and intelligent. And their quest for the trees, sir, is why you found them near your home. Oh, okay. <laughs> Abrupt ending. I was actually kind of hoping for a, a little bit more of a, you know, here's the, the story now. Okay, do something else. Cool. And, well, regardless, it's a 48-hour game. I was actually quite impressed. It's a, a bit of a journey. Uh, it took me, I don't know, like eight or so minutes to get through it. I enjoyed it. I would play more of that, for sure. Like, if there was a full-length game, give it a two, three-hour playtime, I would definitely get into this. Uh, I kind of like the no-frills approach to the combat. Like, there wasn't anything you had to learn except for just, you know, get this item, hit stuff. And I think not having to deal with inventory systems sometimes is almost a breath of fresh air. Like, you get an item, you just get it. The end. 
it's always an upgrade, it's always better than the last one, you don't have to check your stats, you don't have to check if it's purple or blue or green or whatever the hell. You just go. And in this case, that's what we do. We got an axe, we got a sword, then we got like a diamond sword. And I do love my upgrades, so I had a good time with it. Uh, although I still don't know exactly how to say the name, I'm thinking Prey Potch, I guess. Uh, but cool concept, uh, nice use of evolution as the theme. It de there's no question here that evolution is definitely used uh, in the probably the most literal sense. I know a lot of people when they do these uh, LD games, they tend to take a lot of liberties with the theme. This one stayed very true to the nature of what made it good. So I'm happy with it. I recommend you guys check it out. It's nice and short though, so I mean it's it's more about just feeling the combat, seeing what you think about it. Um, I would vote for this. I had a fun time with it. So, that will wrap us up for today's episode. I know we've been doing a lot of short ones. I'm going to do maybe one or two more LD games. Maybe not. I don't know. It depends what happens. But I do definitely have some non-LD games coming up as well, uh, regardless. So, look forward to that. Um, I do just enjoy going through some of these random kind of strange and imaginative, unique games sometimes. So, I, I just like to you know, embrace the fact that there's so many people that just went and put in all this effort to make these games, even if they're a bit on the short side. But I know that you guys probably want some more meaty experiences and some stuff that when I'm done with the video you can go, hey, there's a lot more for me to see here. So I'm aware of that, I want to work on it as well, but still, worth highlighting. I had a fun time. So, as always, remember, head on over to the website, which is www indie-impressions.com. You can go on there and meet some cool people on the forums. Check out all the games I've ever reviewed and uh, set them up by all the different variables and searches and stuff. You know, search them by Steam, search them by Desera, search them by Free, search them by, you know, all the different types of games. Exploration, first person, action, arcade, you name it. I got like 50 different search metrics for you, so go nuts. Um, other than that, uh, remember to check out also the Facebook page, facebook.com slash Indie Impressions, and the two Twitters, at Rockley Smile and at Indie Impression. Feel free to send me any suggestions, and if you want to just, you know, jump on and say hey on my Twitter, that's probably the quickest way, quickest way to reach me. Of course, I don't mind uh, YouTube PMs or, you know, Facebook messages or just about anything else. Uh, so whatever is good for you is probably good for me as well. So I hope you enjoyed another episode, and remember I do these episodes every single day. So remember to come back again tomorrow for another one, alright? Okay, thanks for watching, and see you tomorrow.